Now there's a plan that we should definitely keep an eye on. But next, that fur-free protest. Last week a SEAL demonstration took place in Hyde Park in protest to the SEAL clubbing that's currently underway in Namibia. We look at the recent action taken by the man on the street in response to this and other cruelty to animals for the sake of fashion. The Namibian government has given permission for 86,000 seals to be culled. This is something that doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. Well, basically, a lot of people are un uneducated about the way that fur is actually produced. So this is a fun and a sexy and provocative way to draw attention to a very serious message, and that is that if you do not support cruelty, you should not support fur. clubs are being inhumanely, cruelly clubbed so for people's vanity. So I'm here to try and put a stop to this horrific, horrific fashion. There must be another way. Because the more people that are aware, the, the more people are working together to stop this. Something about seals in Namibia. Why got Namibia? And you didn't, you weren't aware of it? Not at all. When the pels are afgesnijden, live the dieren nog. Maar dit vir die mens hulle makkelijker is om die pels af te snijden terwijl die dieren nog lewe. So wat hulle doen, hulle maak die dieren bewusteloos um, door middel van hulle verwerg hulle of hulle slaan hulle oor die kop en terwijl hulle daar nog lewe, word die vel afgesnijd. And I think it was Gandhi that said that you can judge a nation by the way it treats its animals. <laughs> Emoties is het werkelijk hoog gelopen een paar die dag. En het is jammer dat Namibia voortgaan met die vrede praktijk, in spijt van al die sterke protest al teen. News just in is that some seals have moved across the border to an island called Ilia da Bahia dos Tigres, about 75 kilometers from the nearest settlement on the Angolan border. Over 17,000 adults have been recorded there, and to date it has produced over 4,400 pups. After the break, we take a look at someone who works full-time trying to make a difference to the plight of the Cape Fur Seal.